Hi friends and welcome back to Up Close with Lauren Show and Tell. So today's episode is another special one because the toy that I'm going to be reviewing is actually a special gift from my very good friend Nick. Nick of Forgotten Toys. But do you remember Nick, my toy guru, or, or Nick the toy guru? He's now Nick of Forgotten Toys. He's still a toy guru but he has his own toy um, company if I can say that, Forgotten Toys. I'm going to put the link down here check his channel out uh, Facebook page rather and you can buy toys from him as well he makes his own kind of toy and at the same time sells some collectible uh, Funkos and I think lately even sports cards and what have you so check him out forgotten toys Facebook page okay anyway so today I will be reviewing Henry Cavill's take on Geralt of Rivia the Witcher Geralt of Rivia the Witcher um, of course it's the Witcher from the Netflix series I think it's also a video game nice take on of course Henry Cavill isn't gonna be playing uh, this character anymore um, but he played the first three seasons I think if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken anyway this is season two of the Witcher Geralt of Rivia so come and join me I love the back cover of this Netflix The Witcher nice take on the figure and of course right here Henry Cavill so this line is also made by McFarlane Toys but this is one of my first non DC Multiverse McFarlane toy same clamshell here and you have of course the hockey puck style stand as well here it says Netflix The Witcher okay so just like the DC Multiverse line, this also has 22 moving parts. And just my first touch here, I love the figure. I actually love the face sculpt. It does look like Henry Cavill, much more so than the Superman, Man of Steel face sculpt. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna do compare that now. If you can see how much better the face sculpt of this Geralt of Rivia compared to the Man of Steel. Okay, you can see that this one looks so much more like Henry Cavill's profile as opposed to the Superman here and even the one here. What's your take, people? What do you think? Am I not right? Or is it just because of the the skin tone of the Superman is more pale? Not really pale, but more yellow, I guess. But I just love the face sculpt of this. So hopefully McFarlane Toys reused this face sculpt for a Superman re-release with a soft cloth cape. But just look at that truly amazing just like in the TV show and it has how do you call that is it a hilt I don't know but the cover for the sword it's a it's a great add-on detail to the figure having that and you can see the design of the costume is very close to bang on to the TV show and one thing that I've quickly noticed that doesn't actually you can you can you could hardly find it in the DC multiverse line is this thigh articulation here this thigh articulation okay it also has double jointed knees the usual you have the toe as well okay the ball joints on the foot and you also have the butterfly joints there double jointed elbows and the head you can turn around the thing with McFarland toys sometimes it just doesn't want to look up or down just depending I guess because of the rubber of the hair there and this one it's attached to the shoulders which makes sense so that when you move it well actually it should be better if it's if it's molded onto the shoulders and not here so when you move 
should stay there I guess but anyway not bad at all and you have the torso and the waist articulation well oh, it's kind of different as well isn't it like yeah, oh yeah there's a waist articulation like there too very nice you also have the diaper you can do the splits and you can do like this and look at the detail on the costume it's really amazing he can hold his sword no problem and again just love the detail the texture of the costume that's one good thing about McFarland toys it's mass produced but the detail the details are all there so he scales well with the Batman live action here um, Christian Bale and Jim and Robert Pattinson and again if I can add Superman here again it would appear that he is so much taller than the rest of this live action uh, figure from McFarland Toys. So if I can just add Superman here, so this McFarland toy action figure really stands out taller than the rest of the live action action figures. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Up Close with Lawrence with Geralt of Frivia. Totally enjoyed this. Again, thank you so much to my good friend Nick of Forgotten Toys. You know, one good thing about, uh, you know, when I started this, um, this toy review, this being involved in the toy community, I, I was able to develop some great friendships actually. So thank you. So anyway, again, if you haven't, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, of course, share my channel. And don't forget to click the bell as well, okay? Thank you again, Nick. And uh, again, Forgotten Toys. Check the Facebook page, okay? So like, what do you usually say? Always be kind to yourself. Always be kind to other people. Love your toys. Love your collection, no matter what they are. Until my next episode, I'll see you soon.